G'day everyone, how's it going? Just doing a quick video on the second part of the behind the scenes with Ryan Bowles. The first part, if you watched it, I'll link it above, was where I went and shot the piece with Ryan and I just showed you guys how I set up the cameras and all that sort of stuff. This one is gonna be how I do the edit, take it into Premiere Pro and showing you the multicam setup function within Premiere Pro. So let's jump right in and get going. All right, so here's my screen with already the uh, files loaded off the cards onto my main hard drive, which is my main working hard drive. So basically all the footage here I've got ready to go uh, across to Premiere. Now all I've done then is dragged that across to Premiere into my project. I've created a new project and my base point is basically started here. So I've got all the audio here and all the footage you can see from the 5D3. The top down shot if you remember from the previous video and this one is the 5D4 which is the front on shot and I'm cutting that into two different shots and then I've got the screen uh, capture as well. So just for time's sake, what I've gone and done is I've put all of that into a timeline and I've synced everything up. So let me just open that and show you what that looks like. Right, so basically all this obviously comes in as single files. So let's look at first uh, the top, um, this one V4. So <clears throat> if we just single that out, basically this is the main shot in 4K. So this is the main shot in 4K from the Canon 5D Mark IV. It's recorded onto a 256 gigabyte SanDisk Extreme Pro card. So that means that this file is basically able to record the whole 30 minutes, which is the whole length of recording that the camera can take. It doesn't split it into four gigabyte files because of the 256 gigabyte card size. So that's something that's really cool. So it drops in uh, just like this with three clips and then at the end, Ryan didn't complete within one hour, so there was just a little bit of time at the end as well. Middle of the shoot, all cameras stopped at the same time, so I had to reset uh, and restart all the cameras at the same time. So I've gone and trimmed this up and cut that little bit out and cut a few other bits out. So we've pretty much just got the actual presentation uh, running from start to finish here. Now, the other thing that we've got here is the second camera setup. So if I just show you that I'll mute out that first camera. The second camera that I'm using is the same 4K shot, but I'm cropping in. So here Ryan is on screen holding a $100 bill, and I'm cropping in on him so that I can have a second option to cut to, uh, just to create engagement when he's looking at camera, when he's making points, when he's finalizing uh, topics or starting a new topic. I can cut to that tighter shot, and it's gonna give me a better all-round feel to the overall video. So just tightening it up a little bit with that second shot. The third shot then is the top-down shot. Now, there's still a little bit of cleanup I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna show you that on this shot, but basically it's the camera, the 5D Mark III, sitting overhead and top-down, just shooting in 24 frames per second. So you can see uh, that's nice and focused on what he's writing. So this also creates great engagements, low depth of field. So it's really just popping in the frame where the pen is writing on the board. So that's my third shot. And then finally, the final shot I have is the screen that on Ryan's computer that he used. So I can cut to this screen capture if there's anything that's like really important stuff that um, the students of Ryan need to write down or anything then they can cut to this shot. So four cameras um, all synced up now, as you can see in the timeline, all ready to go. Now I'll just play a little bit of that audio for you and you can hear the sync is not exactly perfect because what happens is there's something called um, a phase shift or there's an audio drift as well. So it's almost perfect, but not perfect, but you, you'll hear that now. Do you raise the value as I play? Uh, you have all... to raise your value or raise your perception before you can raise your price. So that's playing all of the audio um, from, yeah, everything from his screen recording from the camera above and then the two main cameras 
uh, which I've actually in this timeline replaced with the H5 audio already. Okay, so hopefully that gives you a snapshot of where we're at with this. Now I'm gonna set up the multicam function within Premiere Pro. And I'm just gonna do a couple little things as well just to clean up here. So here we've still got a little bit of a break in this beginning track here for this. So sometimes I would just fix that up. Uh, I would add a little bit of uh, add a little clip in front of that to clean up space. We're going to try and make this multicam work with that. Uh, we're going to use an audio sync for the multicam, so we should be okay. But sometimes I'll use uh, just a little bit of space, like I'll put something in there just so it creates space, and then I can do the multicam edit from the start point, from the in point of the whole thing. So that can work as well. Another thing I can do is I can actually put an in point there. So I can do a start from the in point, but then it's gonna cut out the, the little bit of audio at the beginning on the main camera. So I wanna make sure that my in point's there, my out point is at the end. All right, now let's dive right in. Now there's a number of ways you can do this. So I'm gonna show you one of those ways. There's actually two ways that you can do this. First way is to copy and paste each camera into a new timeline, and you use the timelines to create the multicam sequence. The second way is that you nest every time, uh, nest every camera, and then you can create the multicam sequence from the nests. So I'm gonna do the second way, I'm gonna nest them and call them stuff so I can just quickly whip into that now. So just right click, nest, and I'm gonna call this cam uh, A1. And then I'm gonna take the second clip, I'm gonna nest it, And I'm going to call that cam A2. Keep consistency with my capitalization there. Cam A02. The third one I'm going to nest. And I'm going to call that uh, top, top down. Okay, so the final one is a little tricky because it's got a little bit of blank space at the start here, but the out points, the out points all match up. So, what I can do is I can create, I'll nest that, and I'm gonna call that cam, I'm gonna call that screen cap, so 04, Screen cap. This one's going to be uh, 03. Oh. This one's going to be 03. Top down. And we've got cam 1 and cam 2. So cool. So now let's create the multi cam sequence. So cam 1, cam 2. We want the top down and then we want the screen cap. That's the order. I've chosen them in the right order. Create multicam sequence. I'm going to call this main multicam and I'm going to use the out point as the synchronization point. So, okay. So let's have a look what we got here. Cool. So now I'm going to open this new sequence from clip. I'll just close this out so it's not too confusing. All right, awesome. So basically now we've got our setup and I've already toggled this on and off, but you wanna add this little guy in, which is the multicam sequence button. And then you can just toggle from the main shot to the multicam sequence. So that's what we got. And if you go like that you can see. So now what we've got is we've got all these cameras are linked to the one, two, three, and four buttons on the keyboard. So if I want to cut to shot two, then I've got right in shot two. If I want to cut to shot three, then I've got the top down shot, and then shot four, I've got his screen capture. So that's really cool. But what about how we can use this to make our edit? So basically what we do is we just run the actual, this record button here. So we run with this record button on. So from the start, let's go from the top, turn on the record button, and then I press space bar to start the sequence. And then we're going uh, with the sequence. Now I'm on camera four at the moment, so I'm actually recording camera four. So let's jump to camera one. So we're on camera one. 
and we're recording now camera one and I can cut to camera two and this is just the initial startup stage we won't really Ryan's not saying anything at the moment he's just getting prepped I can cut to camera three and I'm just pressing the keys on the keyboard and then cutting to camera four again pressing camera four on the keyboard there's nothing on camera four yet but basically I can just roll back and forth between cameras with my uh, one, two, three, four on the keyboard. And then when I hit spacebar, it actually has created, if we come to the timeline and zoom up here, it's created, as you can see, our edit cuts here. So uh, I was on the camera four at the start. Remember I said we were on the camera and then we roll ahead and now we are on camera one, which I switched to. And we keep going ahead and it's done the cut now for camera three, oh, sorry, camera two. And it's cut again when I did the change again back to camera three. And I think we went back to camera four. And then we did some quick cuts here just to see we flick between the top ca top down camera, Ryan on camera one and top down camera again, back to camera one. So that is how I set up this. Hopefully you guys uh, got something out of this. I'm gonna go ahead now and edit this whole thing and it's an hour long so I might spend you know, about an hour just going through the edit and making those cuts and recording all those cuts and then I'll spend another hour or two just going over the edit and making sure it feels good and it's all smooth and everything like that. So that's how I do multicam setups you guys in Premiere and the setup before when you came into it and I showed you that it already had that setup done prior, it didn't take that long. I probably spent 15 minutes setting up those clips once it was all imported across into Premiere and then from there creating the multicam sequence. So within about half an hour, I was up and running with that sequence and doing my edit cuts and everything was synced up. Hopefully that helps you guys. If you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already to the channel and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.